Hello, Jenny Hall here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I'm creating a slimline card with the paper hugs, stamps, and dies from Honey Bee Stamps. There are two hearts as well as an arm die for each one of the arms on the image. Here are the measurements for my slimline card and I'm using a layer that's just about the same size. Now I'm going to start our project out by using some blackout ink from Ink on 3 and stamping onto a piece of 80 pound paper. I use this ink to do the stamping because it is alcohol marker friendly. I'm going to practice some skin tones. This is not something I color too often with my Copic markers. However, I kind of just tend to keep the attitude of everybody is every skin color, so I can't get it wrong. It's, there's someone out there that has this skin color, so I kind of take the less stressful approach. Now I've cut those out with the coordinating dies and on a scrap of paper, I'm using some Distress Oxide inks and a blending brush to add some pink color and some red color directly onto this scrap of paper. I'm going to kind of have it be a little mottled. I don't want the heart to be um, one color. So I thought it would be nice to just work in three different colors and just take an approach that I'm adding a little bit of color into the corner of this scrap of paper. And by the time I get it die cut, it's going to be more than one color. So I don't want any harsh lines at all. And I'm making sure that I go back over that area with the pink so that the pink blends nicely into the red. The idea of the card is to feature a heart, very, very clean and simple style, very quick card to make and be a wish I could give you a hug kind of card. Nobody is socializing, hardly any in person these days. And this is just my one quick way that I can make something and send to someone in the mail. So I'm going to stamp my greeting directly on this die cut heart and I'm using some waterproof ink this time. I'm using VersaFine Clear Nocturne because the other ink was not waterproof. So I'm going to adhere this panel directly down with some double-sided tape. I'm not using any foam tape on that layer and I am using a little foam tape on the heart and on each one of the arms. I just had to cut the tape really narrow in order to get it behind the arms. Now I tried a few positions out thinking that I could have the arms come from the side, but it didn't give the look that I had in mind. Instead, I had, had a vision that the hands would be each holding one side of the heart because we can't touch each other, we could at least both be touching the heart. Very, very simple, and I like the clean lines and the clean concept. So I'm using some cupcake rhinestones, and would you know it, but the pink color matches the pink heart just perfectly. And so I'm going to add one down in the bottom corner, and in the opposite corner, I'm going to put two smaller rhinestones that are staggered to give an eye-pleasing design. Thank you so much for joining this video with Honey Bee Stamps, and we hope that you like this stamp set. It is for a fundraiser, so visit the Honey Bee website and support your uh, favorite costs.